Hey, fellow investors and fellow stock guardians, it's Monday, April 12, 2021. I'm Hora, co-founder and CEO of StockCard, reporting to you from a red stock market. I researched why the stock market indices started the week in the red and dug into the impact of the global chip shortage on semiconductor stocks such as NVIDIA and AMD. In anticipation of the new Consumer Price Index report on Tuesday, the market has got a bit nervous and started the new week in the red. Moreover, Chairman Powell was on 60 Minutes during the weekend and his commentary might have added to investors' anxiety. The Fed chairman reiterated that a rate hike is quite unlikely for the year, but he does believe some assets are overpriced if you use some of the common valuation metrics. And that commentary have made investors nervous. A few days ago, we discussed how Intel is an undervalued stock with reasonable chance to grow courtesy of the global chip shortage. Today, I noticed Intel's competitor, NVIDIA, has also benefited from the chip shortage. NVIDIA was among the most viewed stocks on the stock cards platform today and shares were up more than 5%. The company hosted its investor day and announced its quarterly income is ahead of the company's forecast for the quarter, despite the fact that the quarter isn't over yet. The company also confirmed that demand for chips is quite strong globally and exceeds the supply, and that has helped chip manufacturers, including NVIDIA, to enjoy an excellent start to the year. With profitable and cash-generating operations, NVIDIA is among the companies that I keep on my crash watch list and would be adding to it whenever the stock price reaches a reasonable price range, especially because the chip industry goes through these rapid boom and bust cycles. Contrary to NVIDIA, shares of other semiconductor companies were down today. Because I researched NVIDIA, when I visit the Your Research page on StockCard, a stock cards platform gives me a snapshot of other semiconductor stocks and it seems many ended the day in the red. For example, Taiwan Semiconductor was down more than 1%, Texas Instrument and Qualcomm were each down by more than 2%, while Intel and AMD were down more than 4%. Among them, let's talk about AMD. What's happening to all these stocks despite the positive impact of the chip shortage? For AMD specifically, the first thing that captured my eyes when I went to the company's stock card is that the stock is reasonably priced compared to the $99 per share price tag target by financial analysts. Moreover, the company's shareholders just approved the acquisition of Xilinx. Acquisition is subject to regulatory approval, but if it goes through, it would give the combined company a much broader coverage across several industries and use cases. The ups and downs of the chip market is a good opportunity to pick up shares of well-managed, powerful companies such as AMD if you are a kind of investor that can tolerate price fluctuations. That's it for today. Don't forget to reserve your spots for Friday's meet and greet sessions using the link in the show notes. I'll be meeting with few fellow stock guardians every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time to discuss the tips and tricks of using a stock card in your investment research. Make sure to reserve your spot. As always, if you'd like to give a stock card a try, research as many stocks that you want and receive stock pick ideas from successful investors, sign up for a 14-day free trial with promo code ROLL with our CEO, all lowercase and in one word. And if you like these quick market recap reports directly from my daily stock market research, please like and subscribe and share with your fellow investors. See you tomorrow, folks.